each summer we're blessed with an intern that is majoring in broadcast television. This year it's Alex Sherrill of Western Kentucky University. This next segment I actually had the pleasure of editing. We are about to walk along a one-fourth mile pathway in Iroquois Park that has been lined with 5,000 jack-o'-lanterns, each carved to fit a theme. Louisville's Jack-o'-Lantern Spectacular, held each year in the month of October, has become a spectacular event for both young and old alike. The company started by a, a mailman saw a display in Vermont with his family and he decided to take it to his town and do a fundraiser for the high, for the high school. So we've been, it's our 25th year this year, it's our second year in Kentucky. Our pumpkins come from all over, uh, we'll get some from Pennsylvania, we'll get some from Connecticut, New York, we'll get some from Ohio, that's where all the large pumpkins come from. We'll get some locally here in Kentucky. It's something we want to do more and more is, get, is buy local. Uh, building the show starts uh, in early September. Uh, show dates start October 9th through November 2nd. We'll also start drawing pumpkins in the middle of September. We hire right on two dozen local artists. We'll start carving three days before we open, so around October 6th. Drawing and carving last all day, all night, right through November 1st. Yeah, every night we'll go through and make a list of what we call our intricate pumpkins. Those are the really detailed ones you see behind us. Uh, we'll go through and make a list of what's going to last for the night, come in the next morning, and usually gut the pumpkins. They'll already be drawn. We try to draw in advance and have a surplus, and every day we're gutting and carving. And we'll also replace a lot of the jack-o'-lanterns. We'll go through somewhere between 500 new pumpkins a day. I saw an ad one day and I'm an artist, so I wanted to do something art related and I'd never really messed with any pumpkins before, so this is a new challenge for me, so I decided to uh, call them up and see what they're about. And at first I originally started carving the faces, you know, just the typical pumpkin faces, but afterwards they uh, were looking for some more people to come up and do drawings. So showed them my artwork and they said, come on in. We go through typically around 20,000 pumpkins per season. We have 40,000 feet of just Christmas wire. We have 5,000 bulbs. We will go through, we have 500 pumpkins in the trees. We have uh, pumpkins from one pound up to 1,900 pounds. Our largest pumpkin is 1,950 pounds, which is 107 pounds off the world record. It truly is named correctly. I mean, it, it is like an educational walk in the park. Every year there's a new theme, it's, and pumpkins are part of it. But it's more than that. It, it, pictures really just don't do this event justice. It is like being in a museum, an art gallery, music. You have about 37 themed sets. Really interesting. I didn't realize there were going to be so many pumpkins. And when you kind of come around the corner in the middle and they're all up in the trees, it's just really neat to look at. Something you've never seen before. You know, it's, it's a night of, of being out, the glow of the night. And it's, just a, it's not just coming out and seeing pumpkins. It's coming out and seeing something beautiful to support Iroquois Park, and it's just a wonderful thing. You should check it out. Uh, we come up with our own themes. We've been doing it a long time. It's really a collaboration of all the artists together. We'll, we'll, we'll sit down and try to figure out themes for, for family entertainment. It's not scary. Uh, we like to include history. That's kind of our hook a little bit. Is, uh, is it, not necessarily just be educational, but have some education in there. Uh, so that's why the timelines are re fits really into our plan.
don't even do it justice. The best way to do it is to come see it. It's an experience. You know, the word amazing uh, 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 strikes a chord with me. You know, I mean, that, that, that sums up the, the show to me. It's an amazing, it's fun, it's family. I just I dream of pumpkins, I think about pumpkins. It's the most fun thing. It's not a job, first off. This is, this is just, just, just us guys having fun. Uh, if it was a job, I, I mean, I couldn't be any happier. I, I'm probably the luckiest guy in the world. To be able to carve pumpkins and, and put on an event like this, I, I wouldn't dream of doing anything ever with my life other than this. Thank you.